In today's video, we're talking about the 50th anniversary of uh, Led Zeppelin's Houses of the Holy. Everything that Led Zeppelin puts out is a great album. I think even the last two are really great albums, but the first five, everything up to Physical Graffiti, is a near-perfect album. When you talk about these albums, everything is great. So that's what I'm going to be discussing. Uh, make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be going uh, track through track. But once I uh, get through that, I'm going to be talking about some of the reviews I found online and I'll give my reaction to those. So st stick around for that. That'll be something a little different. So the first song, uh, Song Remains the Same, opening track. It's very powerful. It's dynamic. And it really kind of sets the tone for the album. The thing I like about Led Zeppelin is uh, Jimmy Page's guitar riffs. He is the guy. He just created some of the best riffs that are melodic and they're heavy. Also John Bonham, one of my uh, favorite drummers of all time. His drumming is just perfect on this song and it's just really awesome. And Robert Plant, his vocals are always great on everything he does. But not everything on this album is super heavy. So track two, The Rain Song. It's more of a haunting ballad. It's just very beautiful. They use like this uh, unique uh, guitar tuning which is different than the standard. Really, it uh, gives it a very different sound. And this song was primarily composed by Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. It just has this very lush orchestration. It's very gentle. It's very melodic. It's just, you're listening to it and you're thinking of rain. That's pretty much how you can describe the song. But what's interesting is that uh, they wrote this song because uh, George Harrison made a comment uh, to John Bonham saying that Led Zeppelin never does ballads, which is not true. They had uh, ballads before they had, I mean, Stairway to Heaven was kind of a ballad, but <clears throat> because of uh, George Harrison mentioning this, they decided to come up with this uh, song, with the Rain song. And also, Robert Plant likes us. He also considered this one of his best vocal performances. Then we have uh, Over the Hills and Far Away. This one I, I liked a lot. I used to play it a lot on the guitar. It's just a very fun song to play on the acoustic guitar. It's really a good song to learn if you're like a, a beginning learner. Another song composed by Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. It's very catchy. It has a nice melody. It's energetic. It's upbeat. You got the mixture of the folk and the rock influences, the acoustic guitar passages, and the melodic electric guitar riffs. You do get it all in this so uh, lyrically, uh, this song's about, on the surface, it's about like a journey or a quest. There's an underlying theme about love and longing. Uh, you hear the lines, uh, many times I've loved, many times I've been bitten. Uh, just a crunch. This is a different song for Led Zeppelin. I think on this album, they got a little more experimental. They tried some newer stuff. So this is more like funk rock. It was a song written by the entire band. Each member uh, contributed to like the funky and like upbeat groove it has this like repetitive guitar riff, this funky bass line, has a driving drum beat, and they all come together with this like very lively and energetic sound. Uh, it's kind of a departure from uh, Led Zeppelin's typical rock sound. Uh, the crunch uh, still showcases the band's musicship and their ability to do different styles. The song is like a testament to their versatility and just a willingness to take risks and try new things. Then Dancing Day is another one. It's more like upbeat. Another one that was uh, composed by Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. It's a very catchy and upbeat song. It has a very driving rhythm section. You got John Bonham on drums, really great uh, drumming, and John Paul Jones on bass. It has a pretty distinctive Middle Eastern guitar riff and has a very unique and exotic sound. Next is a uh, germ maker, or if you just read it literally, it says like dire maker. It's just like a reggae influence song. And this one is a little different. It has more relaxed, it's upbeat, a distinctive like reggae rhythm. The song is about uh, like a tumultuous romantic relationship. That's uh, I guess how I could describe it. The song's lyrics touch on themes of betrayal and heartbreak. Uh, and music Jamaica is a song uh, that's different from anything that else they've ever done. It's just a reggae song with a laid back vibe. It's a good song. It's not like, one of the best, but I think if you're in the mood for it, it's good. There is no quarter. Very haunting and atmospheric song. This one was uh, primarily composed by John Paul Jones, uh, and the lyrics were written by Robert Plant. This one is very dark and mysterious. It's slow and just has a sense of like foreboding when you listen to it. So this track, along with like other Led Zeppelin songs, they use a lot of that uh, Scandinavian or Celtic mythology. This is one of the more darker and mysterious songs. Close the door, put out the light. They won't be home tonight. Really great lyrics there, and uh, this is just a good song, really haunting keyboard riff, the guitar solo is really good, and it's just an atmospheric track, it just shows uh, 
their ability to create powerful and emotional music. It's dark and mysterious, and just well, this is one of my favorite songs. The Ocean. This is the last song. It's just a more upbeat. It's another one composed by Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. It just has a driving rhythm section. It's just catchy and a memorable guitar riff and has a classic rock feel. But the Ocean is a, a showcase of their raw and powerful song. It has a driving beat, catchy guitar riffs, and it just moves the song forward. It's just a very memorable guitar solo. And just that chorus, it kind of gives the listener let, lets them join in on the celebration. I'm going to read some of the reviews I found online. Most of the reviews I found were either like four or five stars. It's an album that, you know, people love. This is but the first one. It is a testament to the power of Mighty Zeppelin. I have loved and listened to them for at least 30 years and I still find new passion for their amazing work. The Ocean, for example, I can't stop playing that song over and over again. Asked me 20 years ago and that song would not have even been in my top 10. No Quarter and Dancing Days are certainly masterpieces too. Fell in love with In My Time of Dying from Physical Graffiti, but that is still short of the ocean of my number one right now. Give it a while, it will change what a volume of work. So this is a, a review that I understand because I'm also somebody, I've been listening to Led Zeppelin since I was about 10 years old. So I have over like 40 years of listening to this band. And when it comes to Led Zeppelin, my taste changed. My number one album or my favorite album changes over the years. I think there was a time in the mid-90s when Houses of the Holy was my favorite. I had this album on repeat. But there are different times when a different Led Zeppelin album is my favorite. And it just depends on what stage of life I am, if that makes any sense. I think if you're older, you probably would understand me a little more with that. But that, that's uh, how I feel about Led Zeppelin. So now I'm going to read uh, the second one. Led Zeppelin is my favorite band with Pink Floyd in a strong second place. My review will be biased. House of the Holy is a guitar story, some of Jimmy's best work. I could start the album and not touch it again until it ends. This to me is the best work as a band, though I love most of their whole library of music. I say take a listen and enjoy the album with a glass of wine. That's one thing I could say about uh, it's in their albums. You put it on, you listen to it start to finish. You don't really, they're not the kind of band where you're going to pick songs or m maybe make a Spotify playlist. I think... Their albums were meant to listen to front to back with no filler in it. So that's how I feel with Led Zeppelin. Even like Physical Graffiti, which I will be reviewing uh, at one point on my channel. It's a double album, but I can like listen to that thing all the way through. So that is all. Uh, that's my deep dive into Led Zeppelin's House of the Holy. It's his 50th anniversary. Hope you enjoyed exploring this classic album with us and gained a new appreciation for why it's so special. Thanks for watching. Please give a like on this video. It helps me with the algorithm and bring you more music-related content. See you in the next